Hi, my name is Steve Chambers, and today I'm going to talk to you about the anatomy of a PC. And I'll start off with uh, the outer case uh, of the computer. As we look at the front of the computer, we can see that I have two DVD, uh, DVD drives. In this case, they're DVD burners. Uh, I don't have anything up in here, even though it says DVDs. There's nothing in this one. Um, and I have a floppy drive and a power button. Uh, that of course, turns on and off the power to the computer. On the side here, we have two expansion uh, USB ports. Now looking at the back of the computer, we see we have the power supply here. Uh, and we have a switch here that will turn the power supply on and off. Uh, we have a case fan here that helps keep uh, the computer uh, cool from the inside. Um, and we have the onboard components uh, right here. And we have two daughter cards. Uh, I'll explain a little bit later about what the daughter cards are. Uh, but in this case, this uh, motherboard has onboard features uh, such as a parallel port for printers. Uh, we have two uh, PS2 ports, one for the keyboard and one for the mouse. Uh, we have a coax uh, R uh, RCA uh, connector on here. Uh, we have a uh, RS-232 COM port uh, that is mainly for uh, serial devices such as external uh, uh, modems. We have some USB ports, uh, an onboard uh, network interface card or NIC. Uh, and we have uh, a sound uh, outputs for the onboard sound. Now this configuration uh, on this motherboard, the sound, uh, sound card has been disabled on the motherboard uh, so that we can uh, utilize the uh, sound card uh, that I have opted for a better sound card as a daughter card. And also we have, uh, for another daughter card, we have uh, the video card, uh, which has a uh, DVI uh, output uh, interface. Now we're going to go ahead and open up this case. Now this case is uh, going to be a little bit different from some of the other cases on different models. So this comes apart real easily and that is the inside of the computer. Uh, basically here is your uh, power supply and we have our two the DVD-ROM drives. Uh, in this case, these are DVD burners. Uh, we have a floppy drive, our two uh, uh, hard drives. And all these, uh, these two hard drives and the uh, DVD burners are um, they're IDE devices. And you can also get these uh, newer devices uh, for SATA or SCSI. Uh, SCSI drives are designed to uh, handle much more data at one time, so you generally find uh, SCSI drives in servers and such, uh, the, the such uh, uh, computers that need large data transfer back and forth. Okay, uh, some of the other things I wanted to point out inside the computer, we have the memory here, uh, which this, uh, uh, K, or this motherboard uh, has uh, two different types of memory that can be used. Uh, one is the DDR, uh, memory and one is the SDRAM uh, memory um, and they just pop out just like this uh, easy no problem uh, we can also just put it right back in then we have the uh, CPU fan and heat sink like I mentioned earlier and normally there's a mounting bracket on there I had taken it off uh, just so that we can uh, take a look at this uh, CPU a little bit uh, easier and there's a lever right here you just pull it up and pull it out now the main thing that you need to worry about the CPU is on these older uh, C well any CPU rather uh, try not to touch the pins for one thing you don't want to uh, cause any electrostatic discharge uh, that might damage uh, some of the uh, silicone or any of the circuitry inside of it. Uh, another thing is you don't want to bend the pins uh, on, on, especially on these uh, socket 7 uh, 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 CPUs. Uh, one thing you want to notice though, uh, some of these uh, CPUs will have a piece on the corner that's got a little triangle and that will tell you where the pin, uh, where pin 1 should be on the CPU and it's keyed so in this case we know that this is the corner that we want to put it on 
So we just line up the CPU and tap it into place and push the lever down. And then we have uh, the daughter card, the, uh, the video card that we had spoken about earlier. And if we're going to take this out, what we want to do is rock it back and forth, not side to side. Of course, you got to unlock this card first. And it just pops out. You just ease it on out. Uh, for uh, the video card, this was a uh, AGP uh, interface. Um, and the sound card is a PCI interface. We rock that out as well. And of course, I have expansion uh, PCI slots for other cards if I uh, choose to put some other cards in there. Now that we know how to work inside the computer and basically know the parts of the computer, we'll go ahead and put this, uh, the case back together. And sometimes the cases can be a little troublesome to get back together. Just like that, you've got a PC, now you know how to get how to work inside of a PC.